So here is my little version of pseudo levitation or pseudo magnetic levitation and I've made a compass and the red end is north and it always points towards the north and it is a very low friction uh, bearing I've got a bunch of ring magnets on a uh, little uh, axle there and as you can see it's got nothing holding it except the magnets on the bottom are repelling these magnets on top and I got a bunch of them and the idea here is I just wanted to see if I could make a compass if the magnets that held up the pseudo magnetic levitation bearing would interfere with the compass and they they do appear to interfere a little bit um, right now it's pointing about a little bit north uh, western and if I turn these magnets on the bottom it will change its direction a little bit but only so much and if I turn the whole thing it will still point in the same direction I'll even turn it I'll even turn it exactly the opposite and you can see it's still trying to point in the same direction almost uh, a little different but pretty much you get the idea what I'm after So this is like the Mendocino motor, uh, only this is based on uh, credit to lid motor and also uh, Ludic Science uh, got me interested in this bearing. And I'm wondering if I could make a stateless motor with the battery and the circuit and everything mounted on the armature held up by magnetic repulsion on that magnetic pseudo magnetic levitation bearing now the thing is with my bearing the ring magnets are very small so if I had a large ring magnet maybe like that big around and I had a one that big around on the top and a little hole in the middle of the uh, wood armature in the middle of the armature uh, the ring magnets might better um, prevent friction because you have a lot of friction here between that whole stack of uh, ring magnets. They're about half inch or third of an inch uh, ring magnets. So let me try just turning this around again. And you can see it's pointing a little, now it's pointing a little north. It's pointing almost exactly north. But if I turn it around this way, It's going to point northwest. So I'm not sure if there's some interference, if it's a balance maybe. See, you see the balance is changing. But if I turn that magnet on the bottom, it affects it. So I just wanted to see if the magnet bearing would interfere with the compass effect um, in general. And uh, if it doesn't, then maybe I could go ahead and build a stateless motor with a bearing like that, and it might work better. But um, that's for the future. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.